house unlivable. You know, this was our once upon a time our life. What's left of the Tisher's belongings are shoved into a hotel room. Everything else for the Tisher family went up in a blaze. It was very scary, actually. Uh, my daughter was right next to me. She immediately started crying. Lincoln Fire and Rescue responded to a fire Sunday, November 12th, near 56th and Pine Lake Road. In situations like this, firefighters have a priority. Uh, Rescue is our first priority, life safety, um, and how we would access them, get them in, get them out of that environment, and how we would do that. Life or death comes down to two words response time. The national standard is six minutes, but right now in Lincoln, there are 11,000 homes and businesses where the response time is longer than six minutes. That is, uh, as new development takes place in the fringe of the city, that development is likely to be uh, more distant from, uh, you know, the, the closest Pizza Hut, the closest Walmart, the closest uh, uh, fire station, the closest police substation. The Tisher's house is in an area of Lincoln where the response time is more than six minutes. However, LFR met that response time, but it took nearly two more minutes for the second wave of responders to arrive. Time is of the essence. We need to get there. E even if and even if you do, even if there is a person doing CPR, if no one else comes, that person will not survive. Lincoln Solution is building four new fire stations in growing parts of the city. It's funded by a broader approved sales tax increase of a quarter cent. Even with the fix, officials say it can still be costly. It's a balance um, in trying to get there at the right time when, between when development is already there but it's not so much you're depriving the citizens that live there of service. As the Tishers wait to go back home in four months, there's one thing that keeps Michelle up at night. I'm worrying about if I'm going to get pictures back of my kids. Why is that? Just because I know that those things are, you know, hard to replace. For NewsNet Nebraska, I'm Kellen Haviken.